Hey guys, Steph from Barbell Sanctuary here. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna talk about goals. Specifically, we're gonna talk about uh, New Year's re resolutions and why they can be important. I know a lot of people are making videos and throwing uh, their, their resolutions out there. And I've never really done a, a video where I, I did my, uh, I kind of voiced my, my New Year's Eve resolutions. I think it can be used as an important tool. So I decided to make a video about it. I'm going to tell you about my uh, top four resolutions this year, my goals for 2021, and I'd love to hear about yours. Also, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can see whenever I upload a video. Let's get into it. Okay, so everybody had a fantastic 2020, right? Well. 2021 should be better. And you know what? 2021 is gonna be what we make of it. At least this time we're prepared. We know what's coming. Um, 2020 was just, it was just a surprise to everyone. Like nobody thought it was gonna get that bad. Um, the, all the lockdowns, the small businesses that were hurt by this, people getting sick. It's just, you know, 2020 wasn't the greatest year for a lot of people. 2021, could have the potential to go down the same route but you know we kind of know how to protect ourselves a bit we know what to do so 2021 should be theoretically a better year i think it'll be what whatever that we make out of it why why do i want to set my goals and talk about them with everyone well goals are important but why are they important goals kind of give you something to aim for it gives you a purpose for whatever you're doing like, um, okay, let's just say, I'll give you an example with one of my first goals. I wanna get down to 175 pounds. If I said that I just wanted to lose weight this year, well, I could lose one pound and boom, voila. You need to be specific. So for me, I wanna hit 175. You need to be specific so you have something to aim for. You've all heard of SMART goals, um, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, uh, time bound. Okay, you can look it up if you want to get too deep into it. So 175, I made it to 179 last year. I really want to make it to 175 as an adult, just to see how shredded I can look. Um, I don't plan on staying there. I just want to touch that number and then I'll probably come back up to a comfortable like 180. So that's, that's my weight loss goal for this year. Goal number two for my YouTube. I started my YouTube channel in December of 2018 so it's been a little over a year now and I have uh, four, over 4,000 watch hours I'm doing really well with that I have a little over 500 su subscribers but my goal for this year is to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark and actually I'm gonna try to do it in January um, I'm gonna put a big push this month so if you enjoy my videos there's gonna be uh, quite a few of them coming out this month so 1,000 subscribers is goal number two my third goal is an educational goal. I got this one from my buddy Kevin. He read, I think, 56 books last year, he said. And reading, I mean, reading's just great for your for your mind in general. Like, I like training physically, but also it's good to train your brain. So my goal is uh, to read 24 books this year, which would be about two books a month. Very doable. I'm going to go for that. And one more goal that I've set for my YouTube is to upload one video a week. In January, I'm gonna do quite a bit more than that, but once January is over and I kind of give my channel a little boost, a little boost, I wanna upload at least one video a week. And I'm really gonna put a big effort to not even, to not miss one week whatsoever. And my final goal is I've been reading up on minimalism quite a bit. I don't want to become a full-blown minimalist, but we do have a lot of excess in our lives, so I do want to minimize some things. An ongoing goal to minimize the clutter in our lives. I'm just gonna sell things that I don't use. I'm sure somebody else could use it, so it would just be to minimize things. So if you want to let me know about your goals for this year, make sure you leave them in the comments. And I would really appreciate if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to my channel, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, 
uh, please hit that subscribe button and help me achieve my goal of 1,000 subscribers. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a good one. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.